Hey there YouTubers, right? So in this video we're going to uh, do an overview of the Gigabyte Z79 Aeris Elite AX motherboard, right? Now, as you would expect from a uh, premium brand of Gigabyte, you should be able to do some pretty decent overclocking with this. It does have a uh, twin 16 plus 1 plus 2 digital VRM design, 70 amp smart power stage, and what we have is two 1 by 8 so should be able to uh, push this overclocks on this uh, quite a bit better than uh, some of the other uh, motherboards that are out there. What else do we have, folks? So, 12th and 13th gen compatibility. Now, yours truly has bought quite a few LGA 1700 motherboards um, to include H610 all the way to Z690. Not sure when we're going to actually get any Z790s in. They're a bit pricey right now. I don't wait till the prices drop, but this is uh, you know one I have my eyes on. Four sticks of DDR5 RAM here. Twenty the usual 24 pin uh, ATX power connector. So from that, folks, if you obviously are upgrading from something and you have a decent power supply like EVGA 850 GQ. Uh, you may not have to upgrade at all unless, unless you go with some uh, dual GPU setup or I'm not even sure what the uh, RTX 4090 is requiring for power, but uh, most likely you'd be good you know, with that setup already. So, of course, it's dual channel DDR5 RAM. Uh, if you are going to only have one pair of RAM, you know, as they note on the motherboard, you would use this slot and that slot. That's A2B2. Uh, PCIe 5.0 slot here, okay, and armor plated, and this looks uh, looks pretty stout, right? I really like the layout of this motherboard. Uh, it looks pretty cool. So underneath the thermal guard here are four PCIe 4.0s, and um, so you've got Gen 4 capability. You've got two more PCIe slots down here. These should be uh, 4.0. Six SATAs. And then let's go ahead and, uh, well they already called out here, five fan headers. So I'm going to go to the gallery and pull up a motherboard photo so we can uh, we can zoom in on it. At least hopefully we can. Nope. Okay, this is different than the other sites, but uh, Let's do this, folks. Let's just see the image. If it's going to work. And of course, it pulls up the web thing. All right, well, we'll get this to work. So, up here, you've got your uh, CPU fan header, the light gray one, CPU optional. ARGB, RGB here. USB 3.2 header. This one only has one of those, so if your case has more than two USB 3.0s on it, this motherboard is not going to support any more than two of them. Type C Charlie. If your case has a Type C uh, connector on it, that's good for this. Where were the six SATAs? CMOS battery here. And can't tell from this if this is a reset switch or it is the uh, for the BIOS. Here's your front panel connectors to include the speaker. So you have power LED, power switch, reset switch, and HDD in here. Four of the fan headers. I'm not sure I really like this location for the fan headers, but um, as long as you have a case, folks, that has an opening right here. Uh, you should be pretty good there. I'm more of a um, open uh, open motherboard to the world kind of thing, like a test bench setup. Um, you know you'll see quite a few cases on the channel. USB 2.0s, two sets of those. So you're good for uh, if your case has, you know, USB 2.0s on it. Now this has Wi-Fi, but if you had, if that died and you needed to add a Wi-Fi, card um, you could use one of these USB connectors along with one of the PCIe so 
One of the things that limits this is uh, the number of PCIe slots. And so you're going to have your big graphics card down here. If you were going to use a capture card or something, that might take up, uh, obviously, one of the other slots. And uh, if you were to add another M.2. So that's about your limit. Or you could go to graphics cards, right? So uh, more RGB, ARGB, HD audio right there. And we already talked about the M.2s in there. Let's... Um, Go back. What does our money get for this, folks? Four USB 2.0s. You got your Wi-Fi 6 here. Uh, USB 3.2 Gen 2. And then this is for the, uh, if you're going to do a BIOS update, you should use this one. Uh, though it'll work in the other slots. Display port, HDMI. It depends. Well, if you do the uh, BIOS update through the BIOS. Um, <coughs> excuse me, three USB 2 point, excuse me, three USB 3.2 Gen 1s, type C here, Ethernet is 2.5 gig, and then we've got fiber optic out, mic, and line out. Hey, thanks for checking out the video, folks. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.